This is CES 15, Harvard University's introduction to the intellectual enterprises of computer science. Hello, world. This is CS50. We learned how to program in C, very much in vogue for data science and web applications, and that when you exit CS50, you don't need CS50 anymore. You'll learn how to program. We can really divide and conquer this problem by tearing the problem in half and click the green flag, and voila, this should be my first program in Scratch. Hello world, my name is Pasha. This is not CS50. This is a video about CS50. This is a video why you should take CS50. I will answer questions why CS50 is a great start for people who are interested about computer science and want to become a software engineer in the future or anything computer science related. So our plan for this video is very simple. I will talk about professor, I will break down this course structure and I will answer some questions how to take it or if you can find a job after, after taking the CS50. So hit the like and enjoy the video. First about Professor Malan and CS50 team, basically for people who made it happen. Uh, I've said it before when I hosted a workshop for computer science students at UNT, uh, I inspire the professor. The amount of experience the and the amount of energy he gives, uh, the, he gives you is crazy. I actually switched to a letter grade deciding, wow, this is actually something for me. And I say this because computer science, what I didn't realize about it at the time, really is this very general purpose way of thinking and way of solving problems. That even if this is the only CS class you ever take, even if this is the only formal training you have in programming as a practical skill, it's just so darn applicable to so many other fields, the arts, humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, and beyond, and certainly within the STEM fields themselves. I think you have to be born like that. Um, he's a great teacher. Uh, I hope one day I will should tell me a story with him. Uh, I have a lot of interesting questions to ask. But uh, shortly, you could not find a better professor for this course. And so by the end of CS50 in particular, you won't know how to program in X or Y or Z per se, but period, you'll learn how to program. And indeed, among the goals of this class is to equip you with enough of a set of concepts, enough practical skills and experience that after CS50, again, if you never take another CS class, you can teach yourself new languages and you won't feel, you won't have been reliant on a class to indeed introduce you to each and one of those ideas. So the course name is uh, CS50 Introduction to Computer Science. It's a 10-week course. Uh, every lesson has its own assignments and labs which you have to complete. So uh, I will break down each week and will tell you a little bit about each week in particular. So the first week is Scratch. Uh, it's uh, basically introduction to the course itself, setting the pace of the course. Uh, you will learn about loops, you will learn about binary code, you will learn about uh, functions. You'll, you'll, be see, you'll be able to see how function works like visually. So it's much easier for you afterwards than like when you're writing real code. Zoom out and hit play. It still works just fine. Second week where all the hard work will start. It's introduction to programming language C. You will write your first Hello World program. As they will introduce you to workspaces. They will introduce you to Linux commands. Uh, you will uh, take the loops you wrote in Scratch. You will start writing it in C. Uh, same with functions. They will introduce you with models. What is modulus? How can you use it? And all about it. Week three, a race. Uh, you're still learning C, uh, but in this uh, week you'll go deeper in C. You'll learn about debugging. Uh, you'll learn about uh, strings and memory allocations. Uh, but majority of the lecture will be about arrays or lists. Week four, algorithms. This is my favorite lesson because I love algorithms. I hope you'll. I hope you love it too. Uh, they will show you about linear search, a sorting algorithm, selection sort, bubble sort, merge sort. It's basically a big introduction to algorithms and how to use it like in technical part of it. Week five, memory. Uh, they introduce you to memory on week three, but in this uh, in this lesson you will go deeper in memory. You, you will still be working with strings. They will introduce you to pointers, and they will introduce you to file system on your computer. So you'll be a you'll be able to work like uh, work with your files on your computer. Week six, data structure. A uh, very interesting week uh, because uh, they will introduce you to linked list. They will introduce you to hash tables, and uh, they will introduce you to trees. Uh, it's not an easy week, but very interesting one. 
Week 7, uh, amazing week. So we'll introduce you to one of the most popular programming language as, to, as of today, which is Python. They will take everything you did before in C, they will teach you how to do that in Python, and you'll see how much it's easier and more convenient to do it like in a modern programming language. Week 8, uh, SQL. You're still working with Python, but instead of using a Python dictionary, they will introduce you to SQL language. They will teach you how to work with keys. They will teach you how to set up your Python with your SQL database. And it's all about SQL. Week 9. Uh, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. Uh, not an easy week because it starts from uh, explaining the networking, like TCP, IP, uh, what is DNS, and uh, how is like how is HTTP protocol works, on all that. Then they teach you about HTML, which is uh, your basic uh, your basic structure of your future website. Then they introduce you to Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a CSS framework, like which which makes your life much easier when you use Bootstrap. And they finish the lesson with JavaScript. Uh, it's a hard week because you have everything compared like in one. I've seen courses where they break it down like to many weeks and explain it like much more longer. But remember, this is Harvard. This is what you sign up for. Week 10, Flask. Uh, it's introduction to backend framework for Python, uh, which is Flask. They will teach you how to do a uh, nested function, how to do routes, uh, introduction to APIs, and uh, all, all about uh, web development. Week 11, cybersecurity. The majority of the lesson is about cybersecurity, about passwords, about SQL injections, and all other stuff which is related to cybersecurity. And the rest of the lecture is uh, saying thank you to students who took the course and uh, saying bye. So now I will answer some questions about the course itself. Um, so first question, who should take the CS50? Um, in my opinion, every computer science student or person who wants to become a programmer or person who's interested about IT field. The course itself uh, has a lot of fundamental stuff and it has a crazy pace of development. It always keeps you under pressure of learning new things. It's like if you compare it to being a software developer, you always have to learn new stuff. It's basically 24-7 job. And the course um, basically starts from ground, from uh, zero, and finishes on the stuff where you can develop your own product, your own software. The second question, will I be able to find a job after taking CS50? Uh, I cannot guarantee you that. I've seen I've seen some people did find the job after taking CS50. I've seen some people did not. Uh, just remember one thing: every time you have a job interview, you're not only showing your experience, you're also showing your communications skill and all that stuff because you'll be representing the company. But what CS50 gives you, you they give you a chance to develop your final project from zero to hundred and. Um, Ba your final project basically can be a conversation starter for your future job interview because you know in and out for the project you did some some people who's applying for junior position don't even have as like a project to show so you're already ahead of them like while having your own project the third question i have is how do i study cs50 very important because the course itself was developed for students at harvard university and uh, that's why it has a crazy pace of development it's uh, every week uh, new stuff uh, a lot of material so don't try to rush through it um, of course you'll have to research some stuff you don't understand and like do extra work but it's a, it's a part of the course uh, because if you rush through it, you might burn out in the middle of the course and just leave it alone. And you might say, hey, I will do it like in my regular computer science classes. And I will answer yes, like you will do that. But isn't it better to do it now while you have a free time? Like, so you'll be ahead of yourself. Remember, evolution of computer science is crazy today and you always have to keep it up with it and like uh, learn new stuff on a daily basis. But back to the question, uh, how do I study CS50? Uh, there's really no easy answer because we're all different. I would say uh, find the balance like time-wise and uh, have it as your da daily routine and uh, spend the time and enjoy learning. But back to the study part, uh, I would say again, just don't rush through it. Uh, try to go deep in every subject and enjoy learning it. What do you get with CS50? First of all, it's a free course for everyone and that's a great part of it. Uh, after I saw it, I could not believe it and I said, for how long it's been going on like that? 
uh, because the reason is because you get amazing professor, a quality material, a lot of hands-on experience. What else do you need? Just, just go and do it. So answering shortly, what do you get with CS50? Uh, first of all, it's a main lesson with a lot of experience. Second, you get assignments to do, like where you have to use the stuff they give you on the lesson to improve it like on the assignments. Then they give you lab to complete. You have to complete the lab. And finally, you get to develop your final project, which is amazing part. You, you can improvise and deliver the, the, the project you, you like or you want to do, you know? Next question, uh, what do I need for CS50? Listen, they, they thought about everything. They prepared everything you need. All I recommend is just set up uh, the GitHub account so you can use their workspace. Other than that, just ma make CS50 your daily routine uh, and pay attention what they teach in class. Don't have it like play it on the background because it's not gonna work this way. You're not gonna learn anything. Uh, I would say get the maximum you can from CS50 question uh, how do I sign up for CS50 there's basically three ways of uh, signing up for CS50 through YouTube through their main website and through EDX I do recommend to do it through main website because uh, in this case you'll have everything in one place and you don't have to jump from link to link uh, other than that like on uh, YouTube you have to find uh, like the specific video and all that stuff and the last comment don't pay money for certificate on EDX you can get it for free here last question other CS50 courses uh, as I mentioned before, if you're new to computer science or IT, I do recommend start from CS50 introduction to computer science because it will help you to get into CS50 universe. They have a lot of other courses. For example, introduction to Python, they have a totally separate course about Python. They have a separate course about game development, about AI, cybersecurity, web development. I can keep go on and go on, but there's a lot of stuff to learn. You just have to go and do that, basically. Basically. But uh, CS50 introduction to computer science is basically you opening the door to CS50 universe. Finish. So let's summarize it about CS50. Amazing professor. Really, head down. Uh, I don't know how you do that. I would love to do it one day too. Amazing for beginners and advanced level. For beginners to learn new stuff, for advanced level to refresh your memory. Completely free. Thank you so much for that. Uh, nobody can beat that. Uh, amazing labs, amazing assignments, uh, a lot of new stuff, a lot of experience. You get to develop your own project. What else do you need? And finally, after, after you finish all that stuff, you get to have a dessert. You get to have a certificate of completion of CS50, which is very helpful. You can use it on your LinkedIn page. You can always mention it on your interview. You'd say, hey, I completed CS50. And some people who, a lot of people know this stuff. So it will be a big plus on your interview and on your LinkedIn page. I would like to challenge you. Instead of watching Netflix tonight or tomorrow or watching a movie, I invite you to wo watch uh, the scratch, the lesson zero of CS50. You never, you never know how something crazy might change your life. You might be the next person who will change the world by somehow watching my video, then watching CS50, then developing your own project, and then along and along. It's a simple algorithm. And I've seen people's lives change after taking CS50. It's about it. I can talk much longer about CS50. I can talk much longer about Professor. I can talk about everything. But uh, let's, I wanted to keep it more formal and comfortable to watch. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have a question, leave the comment. Uh, hit the like and share with your friends. This was not CS50. This was a video about CS50. Thank you guys for watching. At the end of the semester, we'll have a CS50 hackathon, whereby we'll get together around 7 p.m. Uh, at the start of reading period, and we'll finish up around 7 a.m. the next morning. That's just going to make it easier to implement web applications using Python. You, the programmer, to tell the computer interpret the following sequence of bits as a number. Shake spot. So you could do that. Left to right. The, oh, okay, so from right to left. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Computer science, what I didn't realize about it at the time, really is this very general purpose way of thinking. This, I now claim, is a beginning of an actual web application. Because what really matters in this program is that printf is a function here. 
Okay, so that then is how Amazon.com is implemented. It's just so darn applicable to so many other fields the arts, humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, and beyond. I think I spent that winter or spring sort of figuring out how to do stuff with web programming. <laughs> this is CS50. It's fun. <laughs> this exciting ending, this is CS50.